What is going on guys and welcome to Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video we're going to look how we can actually make our tables look much nicer using a Bootstrap. So since we're in Bootstrap the first thing we would obviously need to do is create a div and the class is going to be container over here like this and after that we, I'm just going to create a heading over here. I'm going to say that this is going to be h1 and over here I'm just going to say that this is a table and over here I'm just going to create a obviously a table over here and I'm just going to create a table heading table heading over here like this and within that table head I'm just going to create a three one row with three table uh, headings so th like this and over here I'm just going to say name and I'm going to copy this couple of more times name and this is going to be I don't know a last name probably and over here it's going to be job so something very basic uh, but it's actually so just so it gives us an idea how we can work with bootstrap so over here I have a table head so I'm just going to create a little bit more room and I'm going to create a table body over here like this so now we have a table body and I guess I'm just going to create five rows over here but I'm right away telling you I'm going to be lazy I'm just going to create table row and over here it's going to be table data and I'm going to say that it's John and it's going to be I don't know well let's let's just make it four it doesn't really matter well no because we have a heading with three so no so we have John and I'm just going to say Doe and he's going to be I don't know plumber so not John I don't know not Joe the plumber John the plumber he's going to be over here so now I have table row and I'm just going to copy this a couple more times. Let's say what do we have four. So I'm just going to copy this five times, right? So now I can see that we have our basic table. So let's start working with the bootstrap. So the first thing that we would actually want to do is actually go to the table element over here. And we would need to add a class. And the class is going to be pretty simple table. And you can see right away how it actually added right away styling. By default with the padding. And everything so this is going to be our basic looking uh, bootstrap table now we can actually add a couple more classes over here and the first actually class is going to be table and it's going to be striped and you can see obviously with the first one second one i'm sorry first one third one and fifth one is being striped so you get an idea how how it would be striping it now we can also add a class a table hover over here like this so obviously it's pretty self-explanatory as I'm going over here I have a table hover now after that what we want to do is actually add a class that would be table bordered over here again and again it would be uh, really self-explanatory now I basically have a borders over here right and after that we could actually add a class if we'd wanted to let's say I'm just gonna create a new line and I'm just gonna say table and it's going to be condensed over here so now you can see that we actually cut the padding in half if we wanted to but i'm just going to get rid of this class i'm not a big fan of that class let's just leave the table uh, how it is and now that we have covered these classes actually let's look at the classes that we can add to a table row and table data right so over here let's say that i have a first uh, table row right and over here we could add a class and I'm just going to start with the most basic and I can just have that it's going to be success over here like this. So now you can see that he has this like green, um, green color behind it, right? And over here we can go and add to the next class and we're just going to say that class is going to be danger. And over here you can see what happens when the class is danger. And over here we're just going to go on another class and we're going to say that this is going to be info. So this is kind of a bluish background. And just to show you that it actually works on table data, let's say over here to this though. And we're just going to say that this is going to be warning over here like this. And the last one that I would want to do is active. So I'm going to go all the way in the bottom. And I'm just going to say class and this is going to be active over here like this so this is you can see that it has this grayish background or you can see that if I have a table hover 
it's still working even though I added all these separate classes to the table rows and table data, right? It's still as it's hovering over, and it's actually you can see that it's changing this uh, color a little bit darker, or whatever you have a row, right? And the last thing that I would want to show you is actually a separate div. So if we go over here, where is the table? And we just create more space, and I over here create another div, and this class is going to be table responsive. Okay, respawn save over here like this. So this is the table. So now what I would want to do is over here copy this a, a div. So I'm just gonna cut it, cut it over here, and go all the way. Where is my table? And finishes. So over here is the div. And what's happening right now is as we're going to be going to the smaller screens, we're actually going to be able to scroll over the table horizontally. Now. This is going to be it for this video, guys.